In this example, we're going to see how to transfer motion from one joint to another, and that's by use of something called a coupler. We have several different coupler types. We have gears, which you can imagine what those do. We have a chain belt, which uh, is a perfect example of what we have here, some kind of a fan belt. We have a rack and pinion, which turns rotational motor uh, motion into linear motion, and last but not least, a, a mechanical cam. So let's take a quick rundown of what we already have set up in here. And we've got uh, ridge groups. You can see how they're in their appropriate color. And if I expand my navigator, you can see how they map to uh, the individual ridge groups in the uh, navigator. And we also have some joints. And if we highlight those, you can see we have uh, a fixed joint probably between the, um, the pins, a revolute joint between the pin and the uh, magenta colored uh, pulley, and uh, so on and so forth. So what our goal is, is as this thing spins around, if I hit the play button, you can see how the magenta gear or sprocket spins around, uh, but we need to transfer motion from that sprocket or that pulley, I should say, to the other one and have it move the cam up and down. So first question that you might have is, is the small pulley here connected to the uh, actual cam itself? Do you think it is or it's not? I hope you said it is because it is. And the way that you can tell that it is is because of the color of the rigid group. If they were in different colors, it probably is not connected. Now, it doesn't mean that it's guaranteed to be connected because of the same color. I could make this rigid group the same color as that rigid group. But if you highlight them, both of these rigid groups highlight. So if one spins around, the other should move. So for example, if I spin this uh, little uh, pulley here, the cam goes around as well. So all we need to do is put a uh, pulley uh, coupler between the two and it should transfer motion. So how you use that is uh, the chain belt command that is, is what's the first joint? And it doesn't matter which joint you pick, uh, these are bi-directionally solved. So if you put your first joint here, second joint over here, you can have anything drive anything in any order. Really makes no difference. So we'll just pick first joint being that uh, revolute joint one, the ratio is a 0.6, I believe, and then pick the second joint. Now, uh, someday we'll get automatic ratio selection in here based off some heuristics and whatnot, but you could use the, um, some type of a measurement or put a dimension on there and get what the actual uh, ratio is. Uh, so let's hit the uh, OK button and let's hit the play. And I think I got the ratio right. And you can see how the uh, small pulley spins faster than the large one, as you expect to see. And the uh, cam goes around and around and around. Last couple we want is we want to transfer motion from the revolute joint of the cam to the cylindrical joint of the actual lifter itself. So that process is similar. We'll hit the mechanical can, cam command. Now here you have defined joints that you can pick. The first cam joint is a revolute joint and notice how we only show revolute joints. We don't show the slider yet because it's not the cam joint. So once we pick that cam, it's going to ask what faces of that cam do you want to be part of the solve. And here's where we simply pick each of these faces here. Now it's uh, the tangent face option. It just seemed to magically work for us and it got all those connected faces for us. Then you have to pick the follower. So when you pick the follower joint, it is only going to show linear type joints. Now, if there were many of them on here, they would all highlight. So you have to make a decision on which one is connected to the, um, the cam. And of course, it is this one here. Last but not least, it's going to ask you what face do you want on that lifter? And you just simply pick that uh, face in the lifter, hit the OK button, and just like that, we're going to transfer motion from one pulley to the other, and then the cam itself. So for the play button, it's going to bounce that lifter up and down for you. So these are what couplers are designed to do, is transfer motion from one joint to another, where a joint transfers motion from one rigid group to another.